Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm trying out a game called Renita Fishing. It is a 3D platforming game with fishing mechanics. So yeah, let's uh, try it out and see how it is. It looks very cute. And yeah, let's begin. Spacebar. Bam. So you can play this game with a controller as well, uh, but I am playing with the mouse and keyboard, so I thought I'd also note that. And it looks like this old man has just uh, dropped this key in the pond, so we probably need to go get that. And, uh, looks like I'm, uh, looks like the volume's a little low on, uh, the game's end, so I'm gonna pump that up on my end so that maybe you guys can hear the game a little bit better. Okay. Hello, old man. Hey, I need your help. I dropped something very important in the pond. Can you get the old fishing rod from the house? Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Whoa. You found a fishing rod. It's old, but it seems to work. Well, alright then. Let's, uh... Is there anything else we can do here? It does not look like it. This frog looks very happy. With <laughs> Okay. How do I... How do I use the rod? Oh, well, maybe I talked to him. You found it. Let me teach you how to fish. Hold J to start while using WSAD to aim and release J to cast a line. When something bites, press J to reel it back. Practice your fishing skills by getting the key out of the pond. Okay. I guess I don't need my mouse for this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my keyboard. So let's see. J? Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, that was pretty cool. Some nice animations too. Very Zelda-like. Uh, you, f you fish the key. Nice. Yeah, this game kind of gives me a uh, Link's Awakening, the like remake on uh, Nintendo Switch. It gives me that kind of vibe. All right. Oh, wait, I should talk to the old man and give him the key. <laughs> I just took the key and ran. Oh, that's kind of nice how he waves to you. Awesome, you did it. Now you can unlock the door at the entrance. I don't even know why I keep it locked. No one ever visits us. Before you go and explore the world, a friend of mine uh, told me that he had something very special for me. So pay him a visit when you get to the mountain area. He lives behind the waterfall. Okay. Say bye, old man. So far, this game seems uh, pretty polished, which is pretty cool. So, spacebar? Nice. Nice little animations and effects. I, I quite like that. Seems to be running pretty smoothly on, uh, some, oh, oh. Okay, uh, I don't know what's happening, but okay, you lost all your bits. <laughs> I am okay. That kind of scared me in a little way, but I just couldn't comprehend what was happening. Anyway, now you will have to help me get them back. I won't let you go until I'm whole again. I'll be waiting for you by the pond. So this guy is the villain of the week, it seems holding us against our will. You found a bit. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're getting into some platforming here. I might need to drop down from below. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I guess we're good there. Okay, so far so good. Um, looks like there's a... Okay, I need to climb up the smaller rock, balance myself, and uh, get to the bigger rock. That was not difficult at all. But I quite dig this so far. I love the aesthetic, and uh, whoa, what, what's this? Can I go in the hole? Ah, but maybe I can fish in the hole. And that didn't work, okay. Nice. There we go, I found a bit. Cool. Found another one. That's five out of eight. Okay, it looks like it won't let you drop down. You can only drop down from these ledges here. Okay, makes sense. Looks like I need to go fishing for one of them. And uh, looks like the other two are right here. We'll do the fishing one last. Let's go get the uh, the one on top here. So a, uh, a piñata decided to uh, hold us hostage. That's uh, 
that's always a story you want to go back home to. Hey, Mom, sorry I'm late. I, uh, this, uh, otherworldly pinata decided to break its polygons and, uh, that's actually pretty cool that this is here for you to mess around with. Can I put my fishing rod in the middle of it? Oh, almost. There we go. Okay, you can aim it. Nice! Hey, I flipped him over! <laughs> cool. Let's see, uh, so now I need to go fish the, uh, the last cube here. Nice, found the last bit there, and, uh, now let's talk to this piñata. Yeah, you found all my bits! Nom nom nom, that was yummy! I'm whole again. You can continue with your adventure. Sorry for trapping you here. I get anxious without my bits. So you take it out on everyone else? Huh? Is that is that you, how you get your sick kicks? Is that how you solve your problems? Go see a therapist like the rest of us. Okay, anyway, I'm being too harsh on that pinata. Anyway. <laughs> There's a sign here. And it leads to... Another area. <laughs> of course it does. Um, let's see. There's a bit of a... Are these bushes? What are these? Oh yeah, I guess they're like bushes you can like hide in. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's a bear here. Hello. Osito. Hey, I'm Osito and I'm the keeper of this valley. There's a special place where you can fish out even... Fish, you can fish even out the, of the water? What, what? Okay, anyway, there are many fishes in the valley and you'll need this little journal to keep track of all your findings. Hey, got a new journal, a fish journal, nice. Now that you have your journal, let's put it to use. Register three different fishes from the pond behind us. After you do it, come talk to me again. I have a surprise for you. Okay, so we gotta catch three fishies. Oh wow, look at this. There's a lot of fish to be caught. Controls. Oh, cool. You can uh, change the controls if you want, or look at them. You can even exit the game. Pretty cool. All right, so yeah, let's go catch some fishies. Whoa, what is that one? Whoa, there's like something in the middle there. Hmm. What happens if I do this? It says I need a blue fishing hook? Okay. Is that an axetal? I think that is. Can I catch you? I don't think I can. Maybe there's something different that I have to do here. Hmm, interesting. It would be nice if there was a way to... Oh wait, you can press K. Yeah, you can press K to sprint. Nice. <laughs> I like that little animation, that's cute. This is an adorable game, I, I really like it so far. Let's, uh, let's catch some fishies, shall we? If I can uh, find a good spot. Oh, hold on, there's a place to fish here. Nope, nothing there, okay. What's this? The three ancient beaver statues. You need to do something else first. Okay, I guess I need to actually capture these fish. Okay. Oh, maybe I needed to wait for it to hit the hook. Whoops. Weird, I, I, I do a lot of fishing in video games. But uh, for some reason, <laughs> it didn't register to me that I needed to wait a little more. There I go. There we go. Whoa! Look at this! Table head! The, this fish has been seen carrying stuff on its head as if they were hats? Nice style and animation there. That's pretty cool. And then it gives you a little description and a model. Okay. That's pretty cool. A 
Okay, there we go. As Mombrado, it constantly keeps its mouth open, so it always looks surprised. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, we gotta go catch one more fish. What's up, fishy? You're mine. Cool. This is a burple, one of the few fishes that taste sweet. A burple? <laughs> I don't like the name of that. This is such a neat game. I, I really like this. Wow, there's so many fish to catch. I don't think I'll be able to catch them all, just given the fact that this is a demo, but... That was fast. You were definitely a natural. Alright, here's what I promised. You got a new blue rod. This new rod will be helpful in your journey. Before I forget, there's a competition happening right now. If you, you have to register all the different fishes in the journal. Sounds easy enough, but... Uh, sorry, I can't read. Sounds easy, but even the best haven't succeeded yet. Anyway, look for signs like these ones that show the fish that can be found in the area. Go and explore the whole valley and come back when you register all 25 fishes in your new journal. That's actually a really cool thing. Okay. So it tells you what you, you're missing. Okay. Uh, what's going on with these bushes? Oh, there's fish in the bushes? What? Okay, apparently there's fish in the bushes? I don't understand. Hold on. Let me, uh... Looks like there's some fish here, too. That's kind of cool. It tells you that each what each pond has. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, grab this wooden log here first. Oh! Ah, frog! Oh. Oh no, I lost my bits. Please help me get them back. If you do, I'll help you get behind the waterfall. I'll be waiting for you by the pond. Oh, okay, cool. It looks like these, like, bit creatures are, uh... Are, like, a common stay... Or, common stay? I don't know what words I'm talking about, but, uh... It looks like I can't even get down there, can I? Hmm. Okay, I guess I gotta wait. Maybe I have to help him first, and then... Wait, can I fish from here? It looks like I can, actually. Come on, fishy. Nice! A leopard fish. Its name comes from the spots on its skin, disregarding completely its most interesting feature, its tiny horn on its the tiny horn on its head. <laughs> okay. So we got one of the two fishes here. I think this is the same one. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if there's anything you get for just capturing more than one fish. Like, is there a reason to get multiples, or are you just trying to find each type? Oh, I think this is a different one. Flatfish. This fish feels is very anxious. When it feels in danger, it buries itself. That's cute. That's what I do when I'm depressed. Oh wait, anxious. Anyway. I don't understand what's... Oh, a bit was in there. Okay. I don't understand why it's telling me I can fish here. That Maybe it's another item I need later? Cool, I found another bit. I might as well go fishing in this pond too. Just so I can get the other two types of fishes. Yeah, so far this is a very neat game. I quite like it. Um, even though it's just a demo, it feels very polished and it feels like there's kind of a lot to do and a lot to explore. It's not a very like complicated game, but uh, it you know it has a lot of content in it. It seems. 
Nice. I think this is new. Yeah. Crick, crick, Sion, Sion Mon? That's right, yeah? Okay, it looks almost invisible when underwater due to its cyan color. Okay. <laughs> if you came to this channel to hear proper pronunciations of words, man, you, you're you gonna, you're gonna hate this content. <laughs> uh... Okay, cool. I think I already caught this one, yeah. I'm just looking for one more type of fish from here. Nice, found another bit. Come on, fishy. Let's see if we can get that last type. Oh, no! Why did I do that? Nice that uh, it shows you the uh, shadow of the bob behind the sign. That's kind of a nice little detail. Is this what I was looking for? I don't think it was. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it was a purple. Never mind. I'm looking for something else. Where are those other bits at? There's one over here. I think I need to use my rod to get it. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of a neat little mechanic they just taught you. It seems that your uh, your fishing rod will bounce across surfaces. Huh. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, I bet that's going to come up here later when uh, solving some other puzzles. Yep. Maybe a... Uh, I guess a suggestion, uh, maybe if you catch fish that you've already caught, um, it could be like a different kind of animation. I don't know, it seems kind of repetitive to just have to keep waiting for what kind of fish it is. Oh yeah, here we go, there's a bit in here. Okay, I got five of the eight bits. Oh wow, I wonder where the other ones are. Come on, fishy. There you go. There you go, you little fishy. Oh, ah! <laughs> Sorry, my, uh, I guess I'm a little trigger happy there with, uh, with the, the keys there. I just got excited about catching fish. Okay. Uh, is this what I was looking for? I don't think... Oh yeah, it was. Okay, Daydreamer. This fish almost never pays attention to its surroundings. Uh, okay, just don't let it drive a car and then uh, we'll be good. Okay, so I caught all the fish there and then now I'm looking for the rest of the uh, little polygon things. So yeah, let's uh, see if we can find them all. Would they just be limited to this area? I guess that's my question that I need to figure out. Uh, can I move that log by just, like, kidding it? It doesn't seem like it. It definitely seems like there's one thing underneath here, but... And it doesn't seem like I can, like, get down there at all. Oh, okay, you just hit the log and then it rolls out. Okay, cool. Not too bad. That must be a really powerful fishing rod, to be honest. Um, okay, I need two more bits, and then I can put this guy back together. I bet if I go to the uh, other fountain... I wonder if I go to the... or if I go backwards, will there be more fish to catch? It might be. Yeah, look, there's fish over here. There's... Bugs and birds catch? Maybe I need an upgrade for that, huh? Okay, let's try and capture the two fish here. Wow, I guess it really does want me to catch 25 fish. 
even though it's just a demo. A, a book, Bookchan? But I don't know how to pronounce that. It looks like it has big lips, but it's just a pigmentation from the weird purple ag agile it eats. Oh, how cool. Now, are these real fish, or... I don't think they are, but if they aren't real fish, it's kind of nice that they kind of were very creative with the, uh... The fish uh, characteristics. Hey, I caught shrimp. Mar Maruchin? Their colors might turn you away, but they're quite delicious. Okay. Hello there. Get anxious without your bits. That's okay, buddy. I forgive you. Nice. What's this one? A swish. This fish is so fast that most of the time you can only tell that there is the sound. I can't read. This fish is so fast that most of the time you can only tell it, it is there. I think it, there was supposed to be an it. It is there by the sound they make. Swish. There's two, two more different types here. Oh, I landed on a lily pad. That's kind of an interesting little obstacle they've put. Come on. Come on. Nice. What are you? Tigrillo? Under the microscope, you can see that its big bars are actually hundreds of tiny lines. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that they like made the fish all interesting. It's uh it's pretty creative. Alright, we got one more fish. Uh, that's not the one I want. There's a lot of fish in this little pond. Oh, I think this is the one we were missing. Mosaic. You can find it in many colors. They all look beautiful. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder how I catch those birds and stuff. That might be... Something interesting we gotta look look into. I need to climb up there first, but uh, let's go back to the very beginning and see if there's any more fish in that pond. I'm just kind of backtracking. This might be a long playthrough, by the way, so... Oh, look, there's frogs in here. Bam. Let's get you, froggy. Although its name probably isn't going to be a croaker. Okay, that makes sense. Their name comes from the sound they make. Sally, you can rarely hear it in the water. Okay. Hello, old man. I don't have anything else to teach you. Go explore the world and get the special thing from my friend behind the waterfall. Okay. Whatever you say, old man. Okay, I wonder how I capture some of these guys. Can I just, like... Do I have to hit them? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, you know, I don't think this is gonna work. It's like you have to be so exact. Oh, oh wow, oh, oh my god, it did work. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. You just need to learn the timing. Fly fish, it can only see forward, but it has so many blind spots. One of the few fishes that can fly. That's pretty neat, okay, cool. 
So you want to hit it uh, right after the one of them passes. Okay. Butterfly, butterfish. Some confuse these them with insects due to their shape and flying capabilities. Uh, well, the fact that they're out of water <laughs> makes me wonder if they're even fish at all, but I don't make the rules, so no worries. Okay, let's see if we can uh, find the uh, last, last two bits here. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Oh, maybe I have to do this in the right order. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. And then last but not least. Nice! Okay. I found a bit. Now, where would the last one be? In the waterfall. No, okay. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what we do here. Maybe I need to wait? Maybe I'm, I'm getting attached to the wrong bush. Maybe I need to just go here and just wait. Oh yeah, look, you, okay, interesting. So you do just wait. Okay, cool, huh. That's very interesting. Leaf fish. Its skin colors. Its skin change colors based. I, okay, let me. <laughs> I can't read. Its skin changes color based on the season. Sometimes you can look at them looking for insects around the base of the trees. Well, all right then. All right. There we go. What the... Okay, a rockfish? One of the heaviest fishes out here. Luckily, it's not that big. Okay. <laughs> this game is very silly, and I love it. <laughs> I love that there's, like, different ways you have to, like, think about how to fish and stuff. <laughs> I love that they don't just limit it to water. I think that's what I really like. Nice. What's well, this? Moss fish. Its skin mimics moss so that it can get lost in their natural habitat. Okay. Oh, I think this is another moss fish. Okay, we got two more we gotta get here. And I don't intend to leave a single fish out of the water, or bush, or the air. What's this? <laughs> a trunkfish, commonly confused with branches or tree trunks due to its peculiar form. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game is so silly, I love it. Oh, is this the final one? Oh no, it's another stone rockfish. I wonder if the size of the bush uh, matters. Oh, I think it might. Bush hopper. These little fish are frequently seen jumping from one bush to another. Seems to be for fun, but the experts are still researching their reasons. Okay, I got all the fish there, and now we need five more fish. <coughs> Excuse me, I am, uh, I'm coughing. I'm dying. <laughs> no? Okay. We still need to find that last bit. I'm just not sure where to, uh, where to get it. Oh, it's right here. I have to platform up there, it seems. 
And then I have to use my fishing rod. Okay, that was, uh, I was looking around for a lot longer than I needed to. <laughs> all right, there we go. That wasn't too long, but uh, yeah, that was well hidden. Okay, there we go. We got all uh, all eight of the bits. Let's return to our friend here and uh, see see what's going on. Yeah, you found all my bits. No, 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 that was yummy. I'm a hole again. I'll help you continue with your adventure. Oh, how cool. Thanks for helping me. I hope you find what you were looking for behind that waterfall. Look, we got all the fishies. Okay, it looks like we have five more fish to go, so let's go into the waterfall. I bet the last pond or ponds will be there. Apparently our uh, old man's friend will be there. And he'll give us something special. Like a high five. I'm not sure, anyway. Whoa. What the heck? What are you? Chimulo. Ah, what's happening? Why do my teeth hurt so much? Okay, cool. I have to... Oh, jeez. <laughs> This is cool, it's like a little boss fight. Okay, you don't want to do that? Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't feel pain anymore, thank you. Wait, you look really familiar. No way, you look identical to my, to my good friend Rano. What? Are you his grandson? Uh, or you are his grandson? If you see him, please can you give him this. He got an old photo. Now that I stopped screaming, the fish are all back. Ah, okay. Well, let's finish up the fish and then we'll go back to our uh, Rano. Tell Rano to visit me soon. I miss him, and Thanks for the help. Happy teeth, happy smiles. <laughs> Looks like you might need some braces, though. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, try and get the rest of this fish. If I can fish properly, jeez. This design looks like something straight out of uh, Banjo Kazooie, which I think is cool. I was gonna say cute, <laughs> but also cool. It's cute and cool. How about that? All right, we caught a Nautilus. Their hard shells were used as jars by ancient civilizations. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, fishies? They, these fishies don't like me very much. Maybe I'll go on the other side. Okay. One. Two, three, there we go. Brainfish, contrary to its name, this fish was not actually that smart, or is actually not that smart, and it constantly hits its head against things. That's why it's evolved and gained extra padding for protection. Uh, I feel really bad for that fish. <laughs> just um, being so low intelligence that you just ran your head into a wall over and over again and you evolve into adapting into it. That's sad. That's a sad story for that fish. <laughs> oh, another brain fish. <laughs> that 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 fish is a is an anime protagonist. Oh, it looks like we got something new. A wave fish. This fish has no mouth. It absorbs nutrients through its, their skin. That's pretty cool. We got two more to go, people. Viewers. Watchers. Is this new? I think it is. A carp bay. A chill and chunky fish. Alright then. And one more to go. Wonder what this last one will be like. Uh, 
I think this is the Nautilus again, yeah? Alright, well... <laughs> It doesn't help that they're all behind you, dude. <laughs> can I, can I do this? That's super funny. <laughs> I can't believe they accounted for that. That's really, uh, this game is so cool. <laughs> That's really funny that they accounted for that. <laughs> nice little Easter egg there, I guess. Not Easter egg, but. Because <laughs> usually these games would, if it was like any other game, it would probably just be like, oh, it doesn't do anything. It just hits like, off of it or something. It's nice that he has a unique little animation for that. <laughs> okay. This last fish might be the, uh, the, uh, the legendary Pokemon we're after. So, uh, yeah. We really gotta be careful here. Oh, is this it? Hey, a fingerfish. Don't be confused by its name. It is not a finger, but an antenna that uses it to guide itself during migration. Oh. Hey, we caught all the fish in the game. Nice. Look at this. We got a full list. That's so cool. All right. Let's head back to our, uh, our grandfather. Let's sprint back. I'm actually surprised this is a demo, to be honest, because uh, it, it feels like a full game, honestly, so... I guess you'd have like a hundred fish to collect and then more areas to explore. More puzzles to solve, yeah. What's up? Oh, what's that? Wow, it's an old photo from Chimula and me. Thank you very much. The end and a half, thanks. Oh, shoot, I forgot to... Oh no, I forgot to talk to the other guy. Oh no. Can I go back? Wait, I can continue, nice. Oh my god, okay, let's go back and uh... That's so nice that they let you continue. Let's go back and talk to our other friend and uh, tell him what we caught all the fish. <laughs> then we can talk to the g grandfather again. Maybe the credits will play properly this time. I'm so glad they accounted for that though, like... <laughs> that you would just turn in all the fish. It says the end and a half. <laughs> we need to get the true ending here. Hey bear, I've got all your fishies. Wow, you did it, you registered all the fishes. Aw, how cute. The end, thanks for playing, all right. That was a fantastic game. I, uh, I quite like that. I can't believe this is only a demo. This is, uh, this is such a cool little experiment, or not experiment, what am I talking about? It's a, it's a full game. <laughs> but yeah, just, uh, what a, what a neat experience, you know? Um, I, I really love the, like, aesthetic of it. It really reminded me of, like, the remake of, uh, Link's Awakening, where it's, like, it feels like you're looking at a little, uh, diorama? Is that the word? Is that the term for it? Um, that was really cool, and then, like, I like all the little animations and effects. Those were really well done. Uh, being able to collect all the fishes was really cool and have little, like, unique descriptions for them, and they all look different. That was really neat. Um, you know, the puzzles were pretty smart. Uh, I like that they applied the fishing in different ways. Um, yeah, just overall, really, really cool experience, and I highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, wow. Awesome game. Uh, I, I, I'm in love. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... I'm wondering what the full game will be like, to be honest. Um, yeah, any, yeah, uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to play the game yourself and uh, try it out for yourself and uh, see if you can, like, speedrun it or something, and uh, or just you want to enjoy a very peaceful experience, um, click on the link down in the description below to uh, play the game yourself. And, uh, hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and uh, hit the subscribe button for as well. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and uh, I'd really appreciate it, and it uh, helps the channel out a lot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone, really appreciate it, and uh, see you guys for the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.